today we are 193 young people representing billions more. Each Lenten we hold, each Lenten we hold represents the hope we have for our future because of the commitments you have made to the global goals. My biggest concern is climate change just because climate change is kind of the base issue that if we don't address we really can't address the rest of the sustainable development goals. I'm concerned about inequality between and within countries. I think there's a lot of difference in access of what people can achieve and until we level the playing field there's no real development. I'm most concerned about the poverty, hunger, illiteracy, extremism and so many big issues in the world. How to get the information that we need in order to shape the world that we want. Uh, I think rising inequalities, both within as well as between countries. I'm most concerned about gender equality. How are we going to reduce poverty and inequality? I'm most concerned about youth participation in the governance of their countries. I'm concerned about the climate change. Uh, the Syrian refugees having access to education in neighborhood countries in Syria. I think part of the biggest challenges we have in the world is lack of interconnectivity and humanity and how we engage with one another, how we actually think about development and how we think about the, the, youth, the human aspects of the world and its future. They will help a lot. Why? Because they set a clear roadmap and a clear goal on what towards huma humanity should strive forward together. To change the mindset of the world's leaders, they're very, very ambitious. But if we put leadership, we put our heart and we listen to everyone's needs, we will be able to meet those 17 goals in 2030. Demographic uh, uh, realities are speaking to themselves. Half of the world's population under 25 years of age, 90% um, of young people are coming from developing countries, countries that are most in need to implement the sustainable development goals. And uh, you have the fact that uh, the energy, the talents, the innovation, the resilience, uh, the fresh way of tackling uh, traditional problems are all uh, deeply rooted in the way young people interact with each other today. It's the most uh, connected generation in the history of our planet. Uh, and all the issues issues are deeply interconnected as well. So I think we need to leverage the power of innovation, uh, the technologies and this massive potential of young people today to achieve the sustainable development goals. We the youth are the future generations and whatever we do now, the decisions made today will, uh, will impact our future. Well we really can't achieve sustainable development without engaging the youth. So given the fact that we are the ones who will have to be the torchbearers of the sustainable development goals, I think engaging youth now and to the future will be incredibly important. We have the passion and we are going to be the ones that are going to raise our children in the next 15 years. So count on our help and we can uh, most definitely be uh, an, an extra effort for this challenge. Promise us that you will keep your commitments and invest in our future. Uh, it might sound symbolic, but I think it's a very powerful message that young people are witnessing this moment. They are going to be partners in the implementation, but also they will hold governments accountable to, to the promise they are making today. It's the history being made today. We're extremely honored that uh, uh, this opportunity is happening in our lifetime as a generation and the largest generation of young people. I think we'll be up to the challenge and we'll be challenging everyone to do more.